indicate that one of the recommendations to well address prevent the invasion rather than hurting ourselves later. Next. There are standard things even in the Pacific network, they have a monitoring trap, simple system. Some of them we can try to synthesize and link up. Next. Uh, broadly, if you see the pest reports in different regions of the world also, right, from uh, Australasia, Pacific, Europe, etc., there are reports, some of them are overlapping with India and some of them are not. We should have a mechanism to also keep track of this uh, new record and keep alerting this preventive uh, network uh, for pests. Next. Uh, knowledge of host plant, of course this is um, not very critical, more on local knowledge. If we are introducing Morinda Sifrifolia in a region and if there are hazards of Morinda harboring some of these insects, then it's a matter of relating to them and seeing how to preventively manage the associated sources of breeding, feeding by these pests and their builder. Next. Here there are some examples of how uh, we can look at different families other than Mori uh, different genera other than Morinda and even other botanical families where they are known to occur, some of the known pests. Next. Uh, Bioecological studies, as already EWMR has emphasized one of the regions, so I want to re-emphasize that. They are important for avoiding negative effects of associated host plants. Next. Uh, importance of uh, host plant studies. In addition to host plants as said, maybe there is interest which is variability in uh, citrifolia, which may be beneficial, which can harbor the pest but still be able to tolerate and give good yields next. So those things we should look at. Uh, recent studies on new pest associations, just in a couple of minutes I will glance through what is already in detail given in the posters. Next. Uh, some of these things, like if there is a new pest attack, for example, this is a uh, late wing bug which uh, was found in the coin form. It's a new report. It's also being reported by another paper in uh, uh, Sun Agro, but both have observed the diagnosis around at the same time. But more than that, we have at least been able to look at least positions in which these insects can be at in future monitored as well as evaluated. What is called indicator leaf that has been identified for both these bugs next, as well as the beetles, the flea beetles. So this is one sort of monitoring system development for new pest associations. Next, we should also look at the canopy structure in grown up plants and see where to focus on the monitoring. This is also being initiated. Next. Uh, also, where I mean, the ecotypes variability should also be cached in wherever appropriate. Next. A global scenario of farm level pest monitoring sir. Uh, again, uh, the systems of uh, simple visual scoring, uh, though used in a wide range of things like survey, surveillance, etc., for on form monitoring to have preventive uh, actions, the simplified system should be developed. A small beginning has been made, but this has to be perfected. Next. Uh, next, we will skip this. Yeah, this is, uh, this is how it works, and this has been already tried in coin form for subgroups of uh, insects and uh, diseases. Next. Uh, again, uh, how they are totally quantified over a period of time. As you see, the second pillar is on a leaf sucking pest that has been more important than the rest over a period of time. Such studies should continue. Next. Uh, again, uh, trap monitoring, Spodaptra, one of the defoliators, as an example. Which month? You see, the February March, there is more abundance, so it helps you to be preventively on. Next. Uh, Relationships to weather factors for this peak should be there so that we are able to see year to year variations and connect them next in monitoring. I'll skip this. A global scenario on fruit damage, sir, because that is the final product. Next. Some attempts have already been made, both on uh, given in the posters, and so we, I will skip this slide as well. Uh, natural remedies, already the chairman pointed out both uh, microbial as well as macrobial biocontrol wherever appropriate should be encouraged as a part of organic crop protection. Next. Also predator is like predator mice as you see here. Next. Uh, overall, for each pest there are a range of options being available which are uh, non-toxic, which are uh, compliant with organic. Now it is for us to validate, verify and optimize their use. Next. Yeah, eco-friendly methods are also to be integrated selectively wherever possible, including tolerant eco-types. 
so that we don't spend money on uh, pest control. Next. Global scenario of research on the practices and control of pests. So this is just for the way forward, sir. With that we will finish. A knowledge base from Hawaii and Seychelles can be further strengthened for monitoring and developing preventive practices. Scope exists for inter-regional linkages in uh, bioecology, biodiversity, host plant resistance, botanicals and microbial biopesticides. Recent linkage visits to Hawaii, Fiji, Tahiti, and also with the SPC, along with contacts developed in Australasia, Micronesia, and Polynesia, could help building a global cooperation for specific aspects of, of crop protection, vis-a-vis -vis crop production. Next. Uh, I will skip this as well. We can incorporate. Thank you.